There has never been a better time to be a young angler in the state of Arkansas. The opportunities abound here in the natural state. Today you will see some of the best high school and junior high school anglers competing for scholarship money and braving the elements to do it. And how about that Hot Springs Fishing Challenge? $100,000 of fish are swimming in Lake Hamilton and Lake Catherine. We've already had several winners and we will visit the boat that dropped off those valuable fish. It's all ahead on this edition of Arkansas's Great Outdoors. Over the years, we have covered a lot of big bass tournaments across the country and throughout Arkansas. Now, there's a lot of money on the line for the pros. The Arkansas Game and Fish Foundation is providing a way for our young anglers to accelerate their learning and get ready for the big time sooner. It's called the Commissioner's Cup, an annual event featuring the top high school and junior high school anglers from a variety of youth tournament trails. This year's event took place on Lake Hamilton and started with the anglers meeting at Trader Bills and Hot Springs. The fishing industry shows up to support the future. Among the coveted freebies, lose rods. These anglers are happy to be here and happy for the chance to compete. I practice a lot on Lake Hamilton. We just live right at the fish hatchery, so I'm out there every day, every chance I get after basketball. Just really any chance I can get, whether it's 30 minutes on the bank or eight hours on a boat, just trying to get as much practice as I can, because this is a lot of scholarship money, so I'm really trying to win it. I mean, we've been at it for like four years and been fishing real hard, been doing pretty good. It's took a lot of effort to get here. I am ready. Um, I pre-fished all day today. I've put in a lot of time for this event. I love this event. Um, they give great scholarships at this event and I've just put in a lot of time and dedication. And like I said, I finished second twice and fourth and one. So I think it's my year to do it. And hopefully with what I found today, I can do that tomorrow. Uh, my dad, he's here, he's my boat captain. He's the one who really wanted like to pursue, like help me push towards my dreams to go to college for fishing. And it would help a lot to get that money to go to college. Yeah, it's really incredible how youth fishing has taken off across the state of Arkansas. You know, there are scholarships that are going to be awarded tomorrow to the, to the top finishers. And there are colleges now with fishing teams. Uh, there are full ride uh, scholarships in some instances. And we want to be a part of that fun. We want these kids to experience Arkansas's great outdoors, these wonderful fisheries that the Game and Fish Commission helps manage uh, across the state. Uh, not only for, for bass, which we're fishing for tomorrow, but, but all species. And, and the Game and Fish Foundation is um, that conduit to the outdoors for the agency. We can help with sponsorships and, and have fun events like the Commissioner's Cup, uh, getting this next generation of kids unplugged and engaged in the outdoors. Aside from the freebies and hoping for scholarship money, there is a serious tournament to be fished the next morning, and the anglers have to be focused and ready. Uh, to get some more, I already have scholarship money from last year. I got 11th on Lake Hartwell at the BASS Nationals, and I got a pretty good offer there, but to build up some more and get another tournament win and get more college offers and stuff like that, I mean, it, it'd mean everything, because that's what I want to do is go to college and get to travel, travel all around the U.S. and hopefully go pro someday, and it's just been a life goal of mine since I started doing this high school fishing. Listen in to Cole Martin from Hot Springs Lakeside. He's got a clear vision of what it will take to succeed at this tournament and beyond. When I started fishing, I was very shy and I didn't like to talk about it, but something you're gonna have to learn if you wanna do this as a career and be in this industry, you gotta learn how to speak and talk to sponsors so that you can be successful at it. So it's not all about fishing. Um, it has a lot to do with speaking, being able to communicate, so. Cole is finishing his senior year of high school and he's got quite a stat sheet at his young age. He's been to three nationals and he's finished in the top 40 all three times, once as high as 13th. He's also nominated to be an All-American this year. And in this Commissioner's Cup, he has fished it three times. He's come in fourth place once and second place twice. He is eyeing the big prize a little later in the show. In our next segment, we'll take you on the water with a boat carrying $100,000 worth of fish. 
It's all part of the three-month Hot Springs Challenge. That's next on Arkansas's Great Outdoors. Arkansas's Great Outdoors is brought to you by Bad Boy Mowers. Mow with an attitude. By Vexus Boats. By Visit Hot Springs, America's first resort. And by Certified Arkansas Bait Fish, the safe bait. Where haven't we gone? What hasn't been done? What's still left to be discovered and possible beyond the horizon? How can we continue pushing limits, breaking boundaries, and leading the way? At Bad Boy, it's not just about finding the answers. It's about the pursuit. Bad Boy, Mo with an attitude. On a previous episode of Arkansas's Great Outdoors, we told you about the tagged fish worth big money on Lake Hamilton and Lake Catherine in Hot Springs. 66 fish with $100,000 between them, including one fish worth $20,000. Since we visited the hatchery and saw the tagging of the fish, we have already had a few winners. A $1,000 fish was caught the very first day of the event. Two $500 fish were caught shortly after that. We had a chance to ride out with the delivery boat to get the contest started. $100,000 worth of fish are now spread out across two great lakes in Arkansas. So they haven't determined which one's Big Al yet, right? That's correct. We won't know if it's a bass, brim, or catfish. Okay. You know, we, we won't know. I, I told Steve, don't tell me. Yeah. That way when everybody asks me what it is, I can say, I don't know. Is there any method to the madness as far as where you drop them? No, I try not to get up close to a shoreline really necessarily because folks might be thinking we're trying to put them by particular docks, that type of thing. So we kind of get in the middle of some of these basins or flats and let things go and then they can radiate whichever way they, they choose to. And then it, it makes it a big guessing game, truly makes it a challenge. We got three catfish ready to roll. Okay, all right, boys. We like the idea of putting these fish out here and getting people excited about coming fishing and with the variety of the species that we've got out in the lake, the largemouth bass, channel catfish, the bluegill and the red ear sunfish, it's wide open for anybody to catch. It, some of these high dollar prizes may be caught by a kid fishing uh, red worms or crickets off of any boat dock. A uh, big owl in the competition has been caught one year. So, uh, but there's seems like every year that this is done, there's a at least a, a five thousand dollar fish and several one thousand dollar fish caught. Some of our fish came through our electrofishing sampling or, or, or coming out and targeting for them, but uh, the catfish and the brim came from our hatchery. Uh, we we grabbed them right out of the ponds and, and stuck some tags in them and are bringing them out here and putting them across the lake. But the bass, we actually bring our electrofishing boat out and collect them right here on the lake, pick them up tag them, turn them loose again. Uh, it helps keep them a little healthier and, and, and more viable. The fish are tagged and ready for catching. Just call the number on the tag and follow the instructions and come on down to Hot Springs and fish Lake Hamilton and Lake Catherine. All the fish are worth the money, whether tagged or not. As winners are announced, we will keep you posted on our Facebook and Instagram accounts. Just look for Arkansas's Great Outdoors. Now, Bad Boy Mowers loves the outdoors just like we do. Their products help us enjoy our outdoors and give us more time to get out on the water or enjoy a great hike. Here's our own Mallory Lindsay with another tip to help you enjoy your next trip. Sometimes finding signs of wildlife is a lot easier than finding wildlife themselves. They're very good at hiding. One of my favorite signs to look for are sap sucker holes. And those are horizontal holes that are drilled in by a very small bird that looks like a miniature woodpecker. And what the sap sucker is doing is drilling holes to generate sap and eating the sap and also eating the bugs in the sap. But once you see a horizontal line, if you follow all the way up, you'll see rings and rings and rings all the way to the top. When we come back, we'll join the young anglers of the Commissioner's Cup Tournament on Lake Hamilton. But one of the unique elements in this event are the boat captains. These adult boat drivers take the young anglers on the water. Now they can offer certain advice, but they also serve as mentors to these kids. 
Well, you've got on high school fishing, you've got a boat captain for each team. And uh, they provide boats, they provide uh, mentorship, uh, helping the boys decide what to fish, how to fish, where to fish. And it's a pretty big deal because boat captains don't get paid. It's a lot of expense out of their own pocket. And uh, we travel the whole state and we're not even allowed to fish. We just sit in the boat and watch them fish. When we come back, it's game day and Mother Nature put the first points on the board. Arkansas's Great Outdoors is brought to you by Bad Boy Mowers, mow with an attitude, by Vexus Boats, by Visit Hot Springs, America's first resort, and by Certified Arkansas Bait Fish, the safe bait. The best leaders don't just forge ahead, they adjust. Bad Boy Mowers has made adjustments at every turn, including our revolutionary three-link suspension. Built tough and designed for superior performance and speed. Adjust the seat, handles, and pedals however you want. And as for Bad Boy's rebellious spirit, well, that hasn't adjusted at all. Bad Boy, mow with an attitude. We want to be unlike anyone else in the market. When you buy a Vexus boat, you're buying something you cannot buy anywhere else. The fiberglass product that we build here is glass infused. What that really means is that we control the glass to resin ratio. Open molds, chopper gun, resin in the air. We don't do that here. Using infused composite construction, we're pulling the air out of that product. We're laying in the most advanced fiberglass possible. And then we're also adding just the right amount of resin to our boats. Our entire concept was to make the boat lighter, faster, stronger. And so when we started the infused composite construction, process. That's what we had in mind, a more consistent, lighter, stronger vessel, and that's what we attained. The VX20 is the smoothest riding boat out there. It's comfortable, if you feel safe in it, it handles the water really well. Every fiberglass part we built here in this plant is built under vacuum. Deck, hull, stringers, all the boxes, every lid. If you see a fiberglass part, we infused it. To an owner on the water, what, what the infusion does is gives you longevity. It gives you something that's gonna stand the test of time, that's gonna eat up the rough water. I'm gonna get to go fishing, I'm gonna get to my spot, and I have confidence in that, that I'll get to my spot and get back. This boat handles rough water. You're talking about a boat that is lighter, stronger, faster. All of these things provide a boat that is hard to compare within the industry. We thank our friends at Vexus Boats for their support of this show and for anglers all over the world. First class boats built right here in Arkansas, making us proud. The Commissioner's Cup brings our top youth anglers together for a big tournament. There are two divisions, a senior high division for high schoolers and a junior division for everyone not in high school yet. Now the forecast the night before called for rain, a lot of it. So tournament officials delayed the start until just after 8 a.m. and it was a very good move. The anglers spent their last few minutes getting ready with their captains. This is unbelievable for kids, you know, nowadays. They're so far, so much further ahead of us, you know, than, than we were at their age, you know, just sitting around talking to all these guys, hearing guys talk about, you know, the rain and the thunderstorms and lightning and so on, gonna be messing up all these shallow fish today that they caught yesterday, you know. So hearing all that stuff now is so much, uh, putting them so much further ahead than, um, than we were when we were their age. And here are some final pre-launch thoughts from the two brothers from Magnet Cove High School, Dakota and Dalton Reed. They fish together a lot. Well, according to my uncle, we fight like a married couple when we fish, but we somehow finish, we finish good and catch fish. So I guess that's really all that matters, but we have fun doing it. Uh, man, this weather, um, it's Arkansas weather at its finest in my opinion. Uh, it's been, been raining, front moving through. We'll have to see if these fish kind of shut down post front here, uh, you know, as, 
There's a saying they're always locked jawed after a post front, so we'll have to see how they do today, and I'll be curious to see how the winning backs caught. Once the national anthem plays, tournament officials announce the boats one by one, making sure the safety equipment is functional. And then it's time for takeoff. We started our day following Aaron Gabe and Logan Lanier from Bryant High School, who have no fish in the boat, but just missed a two and a half pounder. The best way to overcome that is to catch a three. There you go. <laughs> better for about five. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. We're going to be greedy, let's be greedy. Right? That's right. <laughs> but then, a few moments later, number one. Yes, sir. <laughs> Putting the first fish in the live well is always nice. This one weighed a pound and a quarter. How does it feel to get that first fish? It's a relief for sure, yeah. It's always nice to know there will be no zero That's at the right. weigh-in. That's right. Way to handle the pressure of a camera on you, too. No you know? doubt. No doubt. Got my good friend Mark Hedrick here with me, and we are having a good time following these high school kids. Oh, what an amazing experience it is for them. It's an amazing experience for them and for their boat captains. Because yeah. their boat captains can sit there and watch them building memories, you know, having a great time. And they're already winners. Yeah. They're already winners. I mean, last night they got rods, they got a dinner. I mean, just, just making this tournament, they're winners. Yeah. And we've got a team behind us uh, from Bryant here. They just caught their first fish. And that is a huge lift for any team in any tournament, but especially for a high school championship. You, get, you want one in the live well. Yes. It just makes you feel better. It kind of knocks the rust off of you a little bit. You know, there's other guys out there catching. I'm sure there's folks that aren't. Mm -hmm. But sooner or later, rain moving out, maybe the sun comes out a little bit. Yeah. They're going to catch some fish. they got a head start now, and so that's good. Well, it's a great tournament, um, and for our top high school kids, this is an opportunity for them to experience what tournament fishing is all about. And this is pretty new. Uh, previous generations yep, haven't yep, had yep, this kind yep, of a head start. Yeah, it's the fifth year for the Commissioner's Cup, you know, mm -hmm. through the Arkansas Game and Fish Foundation. You know, I'm telling you what, just to, to watch these kids, I mean, you know, we've talked to a few of them already this morning. You know, they sound like Kevin Van Dam and, yeah. and, and, and all those guys talking. You know, they've yeah. got the lingo down. Yeah. They know where, know what they're throwing, where they're throwing it, why they're throwing it. Yeah. It's just so much fun to watch yeah. it. Good stuff, good stuff. Well, we're going to go hit down the lake. We're going to go find a team from Cutter Morningstar down Hot Springs Creek. But just as we were about to head out, Bryant wasn't through with showtime. That big fish they'd missed earlier was dwarfed by the one they'd hold up right now. 312, and there were smiles all around the boat. Now, what did we just say about how to make a two and a half disappear as a catch of three? There you go. There you go. That was sound advice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We want to make you aware of our new YouTube channel. You can find us two ways. The title is Expert Outdoors. Now, start with the letter X, Expert Outdoors, because we love the XO logo. You can also search Arkansas's Great Outdoors, and both will lead you to the outdoors promised YouTube land. You can find all of our old episodes, as well as over 20 years of programs such as classic episodes of Big Bass Battle, American Fly Guide, Crappie Time, and more. Expert Outdoors and Arkansas's Great Outdoors on YouTube. Now when we come back, we will crown some winners at the Commissioner's Cup. Arkansas's Great Outdoors is brought to you by Bad Boy Mowers. Mow with an attitude by Vexus Boats, by Visit Hot Springs, America's first resort, and by Certified Arkansas Bait Fish, the safe bait. Now it's time for the exciting conclusion to the Commissioner's Cup, the best of Arkansas's young anglers. Here is Hunter Denton and Zane Cobb from Cutter Morningstar. They are competing in the junior division, and since Cutter Morningstar won last year, there was a bit of a target on their backs for a good reason. They've already got a limit of fish. Tell us what you caught them on again. Carolina, Carolina rig. rig and a chatterbait. Carolina rig and a chatterbait. About how soon uh, after launch? Uh, um, we caught this one right here not too long ago, and we caught these kind of We caught later three in the morning. right off the bat. Did that make you feel good when uh, right out here? Yeah. You got everybody's, you know, you're a little nervous at the beginning of a tournament, and then uh, now you get 
You know, you get the fish early, that makes you feel confident. And you got a tradition to uphold here at Cutter Morning Star, don't you? Okay, well you're off to a great start. Eli Cluthy and Caden Parson represent Waldron. They are on their way to the third place finish, throwing mostly chatterbaits and shaky heads. I think it's five inch in a watermelon special, and we're dipping the tail in chartreuse dipping globe. There's a little dingy back here, you think that'll help? Yeah. Every time I've been to this lake, I've always dipped my worms in that chartreuse dipping globe, and it helps. Valonia is represented by a few teams. Here is John Davis and Noah Yelich. They've got about 12 pounds in the box and are feeling good, but know they'll need a big one to claim the title. What do you think the winning weight's going to need to be? I'm guessing close to 15. Uh, yeah, at least 15. Someone will probably have a six, too. Mm -hmm. It's like tends to produce at least one good one every turn. That does seem to be the key on Hamilton is get your limit with pound to two pounders and then find a big one and then you're in the contention. Yeah, we've caught plenty, plenty of the limit type fish. We've just got to find those better ones. Now it's time for the weigh-in. It's time for these students to get their report cards. One by one, each team takes its turn at the scales and on stage. There were 15 teams in the junior division and 43 teams in the senior. Cutter Morningstar won the junior event. That's a championship in each of the last two years for the Eagles. Zane Cobb and Hunter Denton caught most of their fish on a Carolina rig and turned in a weight of 14.37 pounds. And here is a look at your top five in the junior division. On the senior side, there was some drama. The Reed brothers from Magnet Cove had some boat trouble early in the day. So when they caught a strong sack of fish, they did not want to risk anything happening. So they weighed in early, 18.66 pounds. That was good. What was not so good was having to watch 42 other teams weigh in to see if that weight would hold. Yeah, so uh, another team actually from our trail, the Arkansas High School Bassers, just came in with a 17 and 0.3 pound sack and we knew they were going to catch a big sack they always catch a big sack when we fish against them on all of our other tournaments and so it was a good feeling to to get to get past them because we definitely know they can catch them so uh we're still about a pound ahead of them so but we'll see what happens here in the next few minutes i have no, no. idea <laughs> we've never been in this position so i ain't got a clue what to do but have a stroke <laughs> <laughs> I do, I, I, i'm, I'm so here. nervous so I, I, I think i've faced this entire but, hey. I'm their dad. The last time I was this nervous when I was waiting on them to get here 18 and 16 years ago. It's really nerve-wracking, but it's fun. It did hold, and the Reed boys had capped a great day on the water with a great moment on the stage. Uh, three years ago when we started this, I never thought that I would stand up here with my brother. And it's his senior year, and all I wanted to do this year was do something that we would never forget. That was great for the Reed brothers and for all of us who witnessed it. Now we will continue our coverage of the Commissioner's Cup in the next episode of Arkansas's Great Outdoors. You'll see how our winners took the title. Now suffice it to say, they were able to adapt and overcome several challenges to earn the trophy, the scholarships, and thousands of dollars worth of fishing gear. Thanks to the Arkansas Game and Fish Foundation for putting this amazing event on and for our friends at Trader Bills for running a top-notch event for our kids. And thank you for watching. We'll see you next week on Arkansas's Great Outdoors. Thank you for watching Arkansas's Great Outdoors. At Bad Boy, we love the great outdoors just like you.